Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus again. You know, many of you probably wonder why is it that I, Eddie Marcus, am always trying to take the position that the church is not serving God. Let me tell you one explanation that I probably haven't shared in a long time. And that explanation is this, that I grew up a young man in poverty. And I watched people who said they loved God and who talked about God ignore that poverty as if it didn't exist or if it was designed from God. I never accepted that even as a kid. So as I grew up, became a man, I decided not to live in poverty and I did everything I possibly could to avoid it. And when I did, I found out that there are a lot of things that you can do, not all of them legitimate. And I ran across most people who did not live in poverty who were willing to bend whatever they had to bend in order to avoid that poverty. Having seen that, I decided that, re that I would stop trying to live in success, as they would call it, and live in poverty to see what was really going on. And so I ended up changing my life to be one of poverty. And this position taught me what poverty-stricken people have to go through. First of all, one of the reasons that they live in poverty is because poverty is designed in the system. And being designed in the system, nobody really cares about those who are in poverty. You say, why do I say that? Because there are few rules that you can put in play and poverty would not exist. We talk about God and those rules basically fall under God. And yet, nobody wants to listen or follow those rules. And me, myself, who have been a preacher, who have talked against uh, what causes poverty and have totally been ignored totally been ignored and those who live in poverty are so beat down until they can't or refuse to do what is necessary on their part to fight against their poverty and so I have to tell you the truth the truth is this people don't have to live under poverty poverty is designed the system designed it and the system is going to keep it and those who say they love God have relegated their belief system to fit the system. They don't care. Or if they care, they're not going to do anything about it. They're going to leave it in the hands of God after the resurrection or after everybody goes to heaven to fix it. So I can say nothing good about the church. So I'm through trying to play church with people who don't care about other people. Bye-bye.